Alright, hey everybody, I want to wheeze them here. We are back. It is Monday, August 5th, 2013, sometime around 7 p.m. I uh, know, freakishly early for me. Uh, just got off work in the mail, however. I had two boxes just like this. Uh, you should know what that means. Uh, Skylander Giants sidekicks from Frito Lay. Uh, the way it worked out, again, I had actually ordered the first time, which was like a week ahead of the second round, uh, Barkley and I Small, those were my two favorites out of the poses I saw online. Uh, the way it worked out, got Thumpling and I Small last week, and then uh, just opened up Mini Genie. Uh, barring some catastrophic error, this box should be uh, Barkley, hopefully. So uh, Again, I thought his pose actually looked really good, so I'm looking forward to seeing it in person. Uh, if you need more information on the uh, Skyliner Giant Sidekicks, I'll have the link down in the video description. It'll take you to the post. Uh, literally walk you through the entire order process. It is done online this year. I think that is why they are shipping so much quicker. Uh, they probably don't have to wait for all the checks to clear the bank and then process it, etc. Uh, similarly, uh, the other big upgrade this year is a box. Again, this isn't the strongest box in the world, but it is substantial. Uh, definite upgrade over an envelope, padded envelope, anything like that. Uh, short of something crazy happening, you know, like a 50 pound box going on top, it should keep your sidekick safe. Uh, obviously, like I said, we've got I Small Thumpling Mini Genie, who we just unboxed. Chase McCain is hidden, not tough to find. Uh, I'm kind of in a hurry to get this done. But uh, we're going to go ahead and open this up. Hopefully it's Barkley. Uh, if not, I guess we're going to have a very short video. And I will, uh, I don't know, maybe open up an R T-Rex or something for you. But uh, as you can see, that's what we get. It looks like it is the uh, correct figure. First thing we'll, well, I guess he really wanted out of there. Uh, bear with me here. The reason my voice is kind of cutting out. Uh, the car show this weekend, there's a ton of secondhand smoke. Uh, one of the things I am not a fan of in life. But, uh, what you get aside from Barkley who jumped out of the box is this little 3x5 index card, if you will. Basically says, thank you. We have received your request for a Skylander figure in the Skylander Back to School program sponsored by Frito-Lay Incorporated. The Skylander character you requested is enclosed on behalf of Frito-Lay. We appreciate your participation in this promotion. Sincerely, Young America. Uh, of course, most people probably don't care about that, but try to be thorough so you know. Uh, the other thing you get is right here in the bag, the character, the sticker sheet, and instructions. Without further ado, let's get this printed out for you. Uh, first thing out of the bag is going to be the instructions, which again, not concerned with. Uh, the other thing that you do get, when it kind of got beat up in there, is the sticker sheet. Uh, what's interesting about this, it's actually the actual sidekick, you know, box art. If they came in a packaged box, uh, like we see with Gnarly Trurex or something, that's basically what you'd see, the official character art. I uh, got the QR code, the name below that's a web code. I can't show it to you because people will take it. Uh, it's a sad world we live in. Uh, but again, I think that activates them in the iOS stuff if you don't have a portal. And uh, Skylanders Universe, you know, if they ever maybe swing that thing back around. But, uh, coming out, this is Barkley. Uh, as, as I thought online, he looks awesome. He seems a little bit heavier than the others. Uh, just initial impression. Uh, he is looking like a scaled-down version. Uh, again, the only thing that really seems maybe, you know, disproportionate would be like the... Uh, I don't even know what to call them, the ears or the antlers or the rack, I don't know. <laughs> uh, the top thingies, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, while they are scaled down, they're kind of more like a full size. Uh, not that I'm going to complain about that. I'm going to have to go ahead and say uh, Barkley is probably, at least in terms of these sidekicks, the most intricately detailed one. Uh, he's got a lot, I mean, you can look at the detail here on his arms. He's kind of got like the stump. You know, the crosshairs going, same on the back. He's got the, uh, you know, kind of same green shorts. Got the head logo. Uh, signature eyes, again, he won't light up. But, I mean, you could imagine if Tree Rex didn't light up on the portal, uh, his eyes would be kind of that same piercing blue. Uh, pretty sweet feature, and it was something that they didn't have to do. It actually has the photosynthesis cannon intact, just kind of scaled down. Uh, it's kind of got the uh, armor, everything like that going on. Uh, 
again i've said it before but when i ordered these my personal ranking again this is just based on online not actually having them in hand in person uh, was i small barkley thumpling and mini genie uh, i may have to say that i think barkley might be the best done sidekick again by no means am i saying he's my favorite one or i like tree rex better i'm just saying that in terms of like the detail and the aesthetics uh, Barkley uh, has knocked it out of the park. I mean, he's, there's really, I mean, you know, like thump back, back there, you can kind of see him beside Crusher. He's got the anchor, the armor's a little bit more developed. Uh, eyebrows not really holding anything. I mean, they did do a pretty good job with eye small when you consider that they got the, uh, you know, brass knuckles in kind of. Uh, Ninjini, she's obviously not holding the swords or anything, doesn't have the bottle on the back. But Tree Rex, uh, he really, his standard pose, uh, has the photosynthesis cannon. Of course, his eyes light up. I mean, these two look right at home together. Uh, I mean, you could kind of see them running through the forest, you know, having to look out for Barkley so he doesn't do something stupid. Uh, clearly, you know, Tree Rex being a larger scale, they can get more detail in. You know, you kind of have like the infinite uh, rings and wrinkles of the tree. Uh, it's done very well on Barkley. Obviously, you know, being smaller scale, you can't fit as much detail in. It's just a matter of space constraints. But I uh, have to say, I am very impressed with them. There is kind of that little blemish on the photosynthesis cannon. Uh, I can't tell if mine is actually just like a little paint chip or it's kind of like a toothpick print. Uh, it'd be awesome if we put him on the portal and he lit up out of that slot. I don't think it's going to happen, but uh, that's almost what it looks like. You know, he was, you know, shooting and had that happen. But like I said, I mean, this is the full-size Tree Rex. This is Barkley, and uh, I'm I'm very impressed with this one. Uh, Detail in terms of the sidekicks, I have to give the advantage to Barkley. Uh, kind of cool he came out last. Uh, then I already know what the others look like. But again, I mean, just looking at the detail here, I mean, even the underside of the photosynthesis cannon, you've got the same structure. Uh, very, very impressive, in other words. Again, here's a, uh, I'll just kind of rotate him, you know, around for you. But, uh, have to say they did a very nice job with tree rex the base uh it's kind of that lighter green it doesn't have if you know it on tree rexes uh the way i hold it here you can kind of see a light green up top where his feet are then it transitions to like a really dark forest green above the base here with barkley it's just kind of like a standard uniform green color i've noticed that was stump smash last time I don't think I've mentioned it, but uh, the recent crop of hotheads I've seen kind of seem to be like a brighter red as well. Uh, not on the base, but on the actual figure. Aside from the variation in the base, again, it's really dark on the backside of Tree Rex, uh, whereas it is not here. There's a little blemish there, uh, nothing too major. At least it's not on the figure like with Mini Genie was. Uh, I have to say, Barkley's very, very impressed with him. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that, but that means my dinner in the oven is ready. So, uh, In order for that not to burn, I should probably wrap this up quick. I will say this, I'll have some pictures, just like you saw with Ice Maul and Thumpling, kind of the front and the back, side by side with their giant counterpart. Then, of course, I'll get the whole group of the giant sidekicks, and I'll mix them in with the SSA sidekicks. Uh, I'll take the blog link at the top of the video description. You'll get to see all that stuff. But... Uh, that's it. I mean, this is basically now. I guess I can do this. Uh, I wish these had like Velcro or something so they'd stick to my hand. Uh, granted, I'd need Velcro too. But uh, this is it. This is the uh, Skylander Giant Sidekicks, all four of them. Definitely did not anticipate them showing up this early. Uh, as you can see, they're cute, adorable, uh, in-game, they should be pretty funny. Uh, not necessarily serving any real purpose, just kind of like an antidote sidekick type thing. Uh, now that I have all four of these, I'll just go ahead, uh, hopefully tonight, after we unbox Gnarly Tree Rex and do Castaways and Newlanders, I'll try to come in and actually get all four of these in gameplay in one video. Uh, 
that'll make it easy i think everyone can appreciate it and if you're interested in all four they're just right there you don't have to like filter through and you know skip ahead etc so uh that said this again is all four of them i'll get a lot better pictures for you uh so you can kind of do size comparisons between you know regular skyliners and the giants etc but uh eye small thumpling and then as of today mini genie which of course mine kind of has that blemish on the forehead and of course Barkley, who I have to say does look really, really good. He's probably got the, definitely in my opinion, uh, has the best detail out of the sidekicks. But uh, that is that. Uh, again, uh, just since he showed up today, I showed you Tree Rex. Uh, mentioned it in the Mini Genie video, but Gnarly Tree Rex is available. Uh, here he is in single pack form, not tied in with the Blue Wii console here in the U.S. Get him unboxed later. I'll get pictures with him, Barkley, Tree Rex, uh, all that jazz. It's going to be a busy night, but at least I'm getting an early start. So, uh, Nonetheless, this is Barkley. One final look at him. I'll spin him around real slow for you. Questions, comments you can ask here on YouTube for a quicker response. I suggest you use the blog, oneofwisdom.com. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+. Plus. Which Look at the detail on the leaves right there. Uh, just very impressed with them. But, uh, you can circle me on Google+, Plus, whatever works best for you. Make sure to subscribe that way. Uh, whatever point in time the unboxing of Gnarly and the four sidekicks shows up, uh, you'll get notification of that. But uh, again, thanks for watching. We will catch you next time. And until then, be afraid of the bark.